Standing here with JD, voice in the sky for RGV Fan Fest. Also, one of the managers at the Flux. Now, two locations. You just recently opened up a new one in Harlingen. Yes, yes, we did. Uh, Sunshine Strip, North 77. So, yeah, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And um, you got to explain to the people that don't know. I know because it's awesome and I love to go there. What is What happens at the Flux? Oh, the Flux is where all your dreams come true, man. Uh, you get your childhood nostalgia. You get arcades. Uh, you get your classic gaming and toys. So, yeah, it's everything that you want. It's everything you grow up with and that you want to show your kids, too. So, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> nothing to flux around with. Yeah, nothing to flux around with. Definitely got the Sega CD. You got the Super Nintendo. And you still have uh, some uh, some current stuff with the Gears yes. 5 stuff. And you got, uh, I know you got a Nintendo 64. You got old uh, action figures. Mm -hmm. And is there any, what's the one piece of... Uh, maybe memorabilia that you just couldn't believe was in the store uh, uh well right now at this moment we have three pieces two of them are um uh, he-man vintage and they're graded like perfect box everything so we have both of those they're going for about a thousand each so that's awesome and then we also have a g1 megatron and that is in pristine condition as far as like stickers go and it's original quality because this was before the orange tip was invented for guns. So it's not there. So that's what makes it amazing. So how, how hard is it to find something that's 30 years old still in like mint condition? Do, do you think people knew back then that it would be this valuable now? Honestly, I think some did just because they always bought like in threes. So it was like one to play, one to display and one just in case. You know, and then like other people just bought twos and people just bought one. But even at that, they took really good care of it. So I don't think it's really that much harder to find older things. It's just uh, it just depends on how deep your pockets go. <laughs> you know, like that's that's just the hardest part, um, especially compared to nowadays, because nowadays everything's made like mass, massly made. And like it's not worth collecting, even though like at when we're grandparents, we're probably going to look at a pop and be like, man, I had that. And it's like fifty thousand dollars you know what i mean like yeah. it's crazy yeah. so not only the old school memorabilia you also have awesome art a room of arcade games mm -hmm. yes we do and uh one of our holy grails in there is the star wars cab the original star wars cab um we also have ddr for everybody who likes to dance <laughs> and then we have the pac-mans uh the galagas we have all the mortal combats um even drivers and other fighters and they like street fighter and all that good stuff and how much does it cost? Uh, five forty-one. Well, five dollars, but with tax, forty-one cents. So you got five bucks. You go to the flux. There you go. Thank you so much, RBG, RGB Fan Fest, JD Voice in the Sky. See you later.